people are saying, tell us the story again where I deleted my files. Sure. Actually, I've got several stories like that. So the first one happened when I was in college, kind of like a lot of you. And uh, this was the one where I deleted the files just before it was due. So I think for some reason, the professor made the assignments due like at 8 a.m. You know, it's just crazy time for it to be due, which means a lot of people are up all night working on the assignments. And this wasn't like first, second year stuff. This was like third or fourth year stuff. So I think it was, might have been a data structures course and working on some program to build a large data structure and then do something with it, like sort it or search or something like that. And back then we had computer labs on our campus and that's where most people did their work because it was very unusual at that time for people to have their own computers. And so most students went to the computer labs, which was a great place to go because now it was a big social event. You could go bring, order pizzas, bring uh, soft drinks, candy, and just sit up all night working on your assignments. And there'd be you know, 20 people in the computer lab all working together. And then I guess it was around 4 o'clock in the morning when I decided that I wanted to recompile my program from scratch. Right. I just wanted to basically remove all of the compiled versions of the program and just recompile everything. And so the way you do that is you type rm for remove and then star dot o, which removes all of the what are called the object files. And I didn't type that. I typed rm space star space dot o. So I put an extra space in there. I pressed enter. And now, of course, back then computers were slower. So it took you know, second or two before it came back and said, uh, no such file or directory dot O. And at first I stared at that and I went, what does that mean dot O? And I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> I've accidentally just deleted everything in my directory. And on a, on a Linux system or a Unix system, there's no like undo, there's no undelete the files. Once they're gone, they're gone. There were backups being kept, but the backups were only run like once a day. And so you might or might not get your files back if you went to the computer operators and asked them for backups. And of course, the assignment's due in four hours, and there's no way I can get backups retrieved because the office doesn't even open till eight o'clock. So I think I cried for about, I mean, literally cried for a couple of minutes. And my friends came over and went, ah, oh, that stinks. Just deleted everything. And then there was basically nothing I could do except just start over again. I mean, I, I, that's, that's really, that's, that was my only recourse, was just start typing it in all over again. And I finished. I actually got it to work before the due date. And I, I learned one or two important lessons that night. One is, you know, make backups. But the more important lesson was, very often, version 2 is better than version 1. You see, it took me, you know, most of the previous day to cobble together version number one to the point where it, it was mostly working. I still had some debugging to do, but, you know, I was getting near to the end. Parts of the code were literally just kind of bandaged together. I, I would find a bug and then put an if-else in there to, like, address that situation. Version two came together in just a matter of a couple of hours, and it worked almost perfectly the first time. Because in the process of doing version one, I learned a whole bunch about how the program was supposed to work. I found all the edge cases. I found, uh, you know, how to build the data structure correctly. But when I coded it the second time, I was able to incorporate all of those things that I learned right into the code from the start. And the code ended up being more compact, more concise, and worked correctly. And I was actually quite, quite impressed myself with, with how well that came out. And so I think that was the bigger lesson there, is that sometimes you really do need to just delete everything and start over again. And then that then the second version will be better than the first version. So I learned to kind of not to be afraid of once in a while deleting everything.